All soft baits are designed with different swimming actions in mind, but the way you retrieve the bait can greatly impact this action. Here's a couple of basic techniques that we use in our everyday fishing. One of the more basic techniques and a great place to start for beginners is a simple lift and wind. It's as simple as lifting the bait off the bottom and then taking a quick couple of turns of the handle before it touches back down on the bottom. It's important to allow time for your soft bait to reconnect with the bottom before beginning your next lift. The double hop adds a little bit more aggression to the lift and drop technique. It's perfect for jerk shads and other baits that don't have a lot of inbuilt tail action. Think of this as speeding up the lift and drop technique and adding an extra hop in the middle of the upward action. With practice, you can actually increase the number of hops and the speed at which you perform them. Once again, it's really important to give your soft bait time to drop down and reconnect with the bottom. The slow roll or slow retrieve is one of the more underrated techniques. It's effectively just a slow wind along the bottom. It's perfect for paddle tails and other tails that have a lot of inbuilt action. The goal here is to keep our soft bait in touch with the bottom, never really lifting it beyond a metre off the sea floor. Extra action can be imparted in this technique by creating slow downward twitches with your rod. There's no single way to work a soft bait, and a lot of it's trial and error, but trying different techniques on the day will allow you to home in on the way that fish are feeding and give you the best chance of success.